Okay, everybody, um, we're here on my desktop and viewing the project folder, and we're going to open up Photoshop um, by clicking on the OBJ that we extracted from Blender. I found that you get better results when you open it this way rather than opening up Photoshop and then selecting the OBJ. Sometimes it gives you that this is the wrong type of document error, and I found you don't get that error as often or at all when you open it from your project file and let Photoshop open up by itself rather than open it and then putting a the folder in. So I'm just going to go here to our project folder and I'm going to slip select our bunny shirt, which is that right there. Let's scoot this over. And you'll see that our shirt came in. So now we're going to try rotating it and setting it up so we can start playing with it and start painting on it. I'm going to show you how to rotate it. You will use the 3D tools. Don't use the 2D tools right here. This, the specifically the 2d move tool you don't click that for moving your uh, garment around you're going to want to use these 3d tools at the bottom so what I want to make sure that before we even start that that you're on the same page as me so um, what I want you to do is go up to the top right of your screen and you want to select painting well you can switch over to essentials real quick or maybe design um, but then switch over to painting that way your screen should look exactly like my screen so where I click on you can click there so when we have this is all set up I'm just gonna close this for a moment uh, we're going to use the 3d tools down at the bottom this is the circle tool with a little like a ball with a little uh, arrow wrapped around it and you can just use this to rotate and move your garment this is the one you're going to be using the most. Um, to zoom in, you're going to go down to the next one and you're going to press the 3D zoom tool. This will also allow you to move it in. Uh, you can use the magnifying glass, but it really just magnifies your workspace, not so much as bringing the actual garment up to your camera. So that helps out as well. Um, sometimes the object shape doesn't, like uh, the view doesn't work you can select it up top this is left this is right this is top uh, this is uh, bottom of well, bottom back bottom front so this is the front of the garment so we want to turn it left so this is front and we can actually save this position and name it new front uh, if you have a, a special way of turning it where you want to so just go here and uh, new front and it should snap back so that's it so let's go over into our layers section and we gotta do some prep work over there so right here on the side you should see a panel that says layers I want you to double click on where it says to diffuse and whatever it's titled here right now it says untitled so we're just gonna click on that and it should bring up our 2d workspace our texture that we baked and exported if your texture didn't go into this layer all you have to do is go into your project folder and drag it over to the workspace and you'll have your texture but because mine's here I don't need to do that so I'm just going to escape and get rid of it now you can leave your shirt like this or you can decide whether or not you want to edit the base because this texture is the base of our t-shirt I like to blur it up I can use the blur tool and uh, blur where it looks harsh or, or I can use the filter and then blur and then just blur it all at once and make it just so it's some back shading something like that that's just me um, once we have it where we like it we can press a new layer which is this button right here and this is where you're going to decide what color you want your t-shirt I found that it is a lot easier to paint it all here on a 2d layer what color like the base color of your shirt first rather than um, trying to paint it in 3d like here's all the front this over there that's that this is a whole lot faster so I'm gonna go with black I never really go all the way black when I'm choosing black shirts I like to pick a shade that's a few shades from pure black so like a dark gray something like this and then I press um, multiply and let it overlay over our base shadow map. Now you can pick any color in the rainbow, whatever you want to look the way you want it to look. But uh, I like making black shirts for my tutorials, so black shirt it is. 
So I have my shirt and my base layer and we're going to create another layer and this is going to be our painting layer where we'll put our decorations, or our decals or whatever have you. So we have that set and we're going to close this box and we're going to press X and it's going to ask us do we want to save the document and you want to say yes. So when we do save it, it comes over here into Blender. I mean, so you our 3D layer over here in Photoshop. So what we want to do next is because right now it's kind of choppy, but when you move it, it gets back and all pretty and stuff. So what I want to do is I want to change the lighting. I was experimenting, and I found that when you add lighting, it's not as uh, well like this. So what I want to do is go to the view, and I want to no, it's window, and I want to open the 3D window. And I want to click on the button that says infinite light. And I want to turn, oh, infinite light one. And I want to scroll down a bit until I see the intensity. And I want to change the intensity up. It's a wee bit. And you see it's not as harsh on it as it was before. I mean, it's still a little low quality. But it's not as bad as, say, that. Like that. So let's just turn the intensity up. And you can see that it looks pretty good. I'm not sure about the second one, but it wouldn't hurt. Now it's a little too bright. You can actually use a shadow to your advantage when it comes to shading it, but that looks a lot better than what we were working with, right? Okay, so we have our light, we have our stuff, and now we can just dive in and start painting. So grab your brush, um, change your brush size to something whatever you want pick a color that's bold and out there it's got pink and then just start drawing on your body now I wonder now it's on normal it's that bright because I have the light shining on it like this so the shirt won't be like this when we render it out in a second life so I want to change that let's look at the intensity again let's turn this back down Okay, so this is the top infinite light. Now I'm curious as to what else it does. Infinite. That's about where it should be. So you can design and put on whatever you want. Let's see his pink and stuff in here. Now let's say that you want to let's turn it off. You want to put on a decal onto your shirt. We can add a decal to the shirt by dragging said decal in. I have a picture that I prepped up for this. I think it's that. No, 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 not that one. The other one. This is it. Okay, so I have this decal that I want on my shirt. All you have to do is put it on and line it up to where you want on your shirt. You want to make sure that it's on the shirt as much as possible. Like this. And I'm press the little paintbrush over here. And it's going to ask you, do you want to place the file? You say yes. If you made a mistake, you can just go up to. Oh, that's why I didn't want to full screen this. Hang on a second. Let's go down. Okay. So, what you want to do is if you messed up, you can <clears throat> just go into free transform and you can resize it again. So, I'm going to put it here. Effect. Place it. And then what you do is right click on it and then you merge down and see it snaps onto the t-shirt. So you want to double click on this and you can see that it is now here on your shirt. You can change what is blending and try to make it blend a little bit better, whatever. Okay. 
<laughs> black and white. Um, normal. Let me turn it down a little bit. Okay. So now when you look at it, this is how the shirt is. So now I have my shirt with the texture on here, and you just save it. So you just go File, Save As um, on my desktop, and I'm just going to name this Bed Steven Shirt, and hit OK. Alright, so once that's done, you're pretty much done. All we have to do now is just export our shirt out of Blender, and wear it on our body and apply this texture so last video i see you guys over there and uh let's get wearing our clothes